Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, an interesting conversation whether you should play a gap wedge with your set or whether you should play a more versatile specialty gap wedge. Now, there are definitely some pros and cons comparing the two. So it's going to be an interesting test today as I compare the differences between a gap wedge with the set and a gap wedge that is a more versatile specialty wedge. So today what I have in front of me is I have the Mizuno JPX 921 forged. It's the gap wedge. It's got 50 degrees of loft on it. I will also test the Titleist Volke SM8 wedge. It's got 50 degrees of loft on it. And we'll double check the specs in the Lion loft machine. They both, the length of both of them are 35 and a half inches. So very, very similar specs. But I first want to touch on the pros and cons comparing the two different wedges. So first, beginning with the gap wedge with the set, the first pro would be it's, it's designed, it looks like your wedge, so it's designed like the rest of your irons. So it's designed for full shot performance. So if you're just hitting this particular club for full shots, it's a great option. But if you need a little bit more versatility, the gap wedge with the set may be a better option for you there as well. Another pro for the gap wedge with the set is it's more forgiving. So it's, when it, if a club is more forgiving, especially if maybe you're having a hard time finding the middle of the club face, the gap wedge with the set's not a bad option at all because it's just going to be much easier with regards to kind of turf interaction for those players that like just to play like a full swing with the gap wedge with the set. Now speaking on the more versatile gap wedge, this is like your, your bulky wedge, this is like your um, your, your Cleveland wedge, this is, these are the more versatile wedges that you get in like your 50 degree all the way up to 60 degree, is the pros are the grooves are CNC milled. So because they're CNC milled, they're going to feel better, going to cause general more spin around the green and more versatility. So the gap wedge that is more versatile, your specialty gap wedge, it's going to be better for shots for around the green gives you versatility, gives you improved turf interactions on those pitch shots. So if you do hit your gap wedge, you like to chip with your gap wedge, try to chip, chip with your pitching wedge, I do recommend to go with the more versatile wedge there too. But it really comes down to the level of your particular game. If you're a golfer that doesn't have too much versatility around the greens and you basically chip it the same way with every single golf club, mainly, mainly only use your sand wedge or your, or your lob wedge to chip with, Gap wedge with the set is going to be a great gap filler. So think of it as a gap filler between the pitching wedge and your next highest lofted club. So we're going to do an inter interesting test. Now, I would prefer this test to be outside because one of the cons with the wedge with your set is it is more prone to a flyer. So we're not going to see flyers off an artificial mat, but one keep that in mind with a gap wedge with the set. There's a chance that the ball might, may fly a little bit more. So you may get a jumper and get that ball go 15 yards a little bit further. While you have the CNC milled grooves with the more versatile wedge, you're not going to get that as much there too. But we're going to compare the differences in spin and distance and see if there's any differences with me hitting the gap wedge with the set and the versatile wedge here too. I just had to bend the gap wedge with the set, so the JPX 921 forged gap wedge. Just double check the specs on it, it was at 49 degrees, so I bent that to 50, and that's what the SM8 wedge is also 50 at 50. So let's take a look at some numbers, let's hit some shots, see if there's any differences that we notice on TrackMan. So I hit seven shots with the JPX 921 forged iron. Next up is a more versatile club. This is the SM8 Volke Wedge, 50 degree. Let's try and hit seven more shots with the same club speed and then let's see if there's any differences in the data.
Okay, so 14 shots, 7 shots with the gap wedge with the set, and 7 shots with the versatile, more versatile specialty wedge. Really interesting to take a look at these numbers, because these numbers were almost kind of identical, which is really kind of interesting. Now, there were some differences in consistency, and I'll definitely kind of touch on that as we look at these numbers here, too. So, first thing you'll notice here, my bow speed was just slightly faster with the more versatile wedge. I was just hitting it slightly better, something more that I'm kind of used to, so it probably fit my eye a little bit better. Now we're talking half a mile an hour, so it's not like it's a major difference or anything like that, but it's kind of just kind of interesting to see that. Um, launch angle was slightly higher with the more versatile wedge. We're talking one degree, once again, there's not really nothing in it there to say, hey, it's gonna launch higher or it's gonna launch lower between those two. Um, spin rate, wow, that's incredible. The spin rate with all seven shots, we're talking 86.08 to 86.17 was the average for all these seven shots. That is, that's definitely quite incredible there to see that how consistent that spin rate was. We're talking about two clubs that have 50 degrees of loft on them. Um, so I know there's talk about the, the CNC mill, mill grooves essentially is gonna cause maybe a little bit more spin. What it will do is it'll definitely kind of avoid the jumper a little bit there too. And we'll talk about the dispersion pattern a little bit. We already know there is one circle up there I do like a lot. Um, if we look at carry distance, 121.3 and 121.5. So the loft on the golf club, the stated loft, it did its job. It, it gapped out regardless of whether I was using the more versatile wedge or whether I was using the gap wedge with the set. Speaking on uh, consistency, I want to touch on the little numbers. So that is the plus or minus numbers up here on TrackMan. You can kind of see with the more specialty wedge, the numbers were smaller right across from left to right. You can see plus or minus 0 0.7 with the ball speed, plus or minus 1.3 with the ball speed with the wedge with the set. So a little bit more consistent with the more versatile wedge. So a little bit less chance to get that that jumper or that flyer, we get that ball speed to be kind of different off the club face there as well. Um, if you look here at spin rate, consistently about the consistency was almost split in half. So plus or minus 197 versus plus or minus 376. We can take a look at that carry distance. We're talking plus or minus 0 0.8 versus plus or minus 2.0. So really kind of interesting. And then the curve. So one thing we do notice is the ball did curve double the amount with the specialty wedge. It curved six feet to the left with plus or minus two. While the curve was three feet to the left with the wedge with the set, but the curve was a little bit more inconsistent. So it was a, more, a little more kind of a, a range from left to right essentially there too. So if you know my game by now by looking at a lot of these videos, you know, know I like to hit a tiny little drawer. I was hitting a tiny little drawer with the specialty wedge. I was getting exactly what I wanted to get every single shot with this club. So that's the reason why I play the more special to wedge in my bag. Finally, dispersion. So this is, the, this, is the, this is the big piece right here. If we were gonna look at the screen, I'd ask, which color do you like better? Well, that yellow circle for sure definitely kind of stands out right off the bat. You can see how it's, I mean, it's, it's, half, it's almost over half the size with regards to the wedge with the set. But the specialty wedge, that yellow circle, very, very small. And it was just left of center. It was that tiny little draw that I was trying to hit every single time. So that is what, for me, what stands out the most is the consistency with your wedges or your scoring clubs. So for those better players that for sure can handle the specialty wedge in their set, if they're trying to curve the ball into a green, trying to basically hit the ball right at the flag, go with the specialty wedge. If you're a player that may just like kind of hit towards the middle of the green, kind of happy to get the ball kind of on the green with, with your wedges, this, the gap wedge for the set is going to be perfectly fine. So we notice really no differences in spin, really no differences in carry distance. The loft was doing what the loft is supposed to do. Just kind of notice that the specialty wedge for me being a better player was a better option for my golf game. Hope you really like this content. Thanks for watching. Bye.